Well, it is live at five. It is Whiskey Wednesday here at Springfield Distillery, and we are going to do cocktails today that are um, with the finishing touch of a puree or a simple syrup or um, just that kind of where we've done the good, better, best before. Uh, in my opinion, just adding this little bit of a simple syrup or um, a puree of some sort will just kind of give it that little bit of an extra mile on this. I like to think of it as kind of like the icing on the cake. So um, some of the ones that I really like to do with the purees in that are to do something kind of tart with the sweetness just to kind of get that balance in that. So a couple of those that we're going to do today will have kind of a mixed balance on that. I think that that will make it quite interesting. So um, one of the ones I'm going to start with just because I think it's kind of fun. This is also uh, one of the whiskeys, I'm sorry, one of the spirits that I don't necessarily feature according to Mason enough. So I think because I'm so appreciative of all that he did to um, help me out this last weekend, I'm going to do one just for Mason. Um, and this is going to be with our rum. So the rum is a, um, it's a molasses based. So it has uh, the, it doesn't have the real sweetness of like a sugar cane based rum. This is actually a little bit more um, smoky. It was aged in a new charred oak barrel. We did that purposefully just to kind of give it a nice kind of almost whiskey finish to it. Um, but the molasses in that makes it really, really smoky. If you guys have ever baked with molasses or cooked with molasses, you kind of get that whiskey, um, you know, kind of like, uh, I don't know, um, smoky taste to it and that stuff. So we did that with our rum. And what I really like to do with this one, you guys, with the rum, we don't have that much left. It's actually a product that we probably have about maybe 30 or 40, 40 bottles left. Um, not sure if we'll do the same or we might change the recipe on the rum next time. But um, with this one, I really like to cook with this. This is probably one of the ones that I really like to add to barbecue sauces or if, if you do a meatloaf with like a chili sauce on top, the rum is super good with this. Um, I also like to use this as a marinade. I like to make this with uh, like some Dijon mustard and olive oil on the rum and then um, marinate like my pork tenderloins in that. So I think that that rum, just adding it to some of your sauces and things like that, give it a really nice smoky flavor to it. Um, but when you marinate, it really does a really great job. But what I, my favorite way to do this in the tasting room is as a pina colada. So what I like to do is I like to take, um, it'll be about a full ounce of the rum. This is like the end of my bottle. <laughs> this one was must have been popular over the tasting weekend because there's none left. But I've got one ounce of the rum in here and I'm gonna put this in the tasting jar with just a few of um, the ice cubes because I'm gonna do this with the mix with our uh, pina colada mix. So my favorite pina colada mix to make, and I've tried lots and lots and lots of uh, pina colada mixes, I've got to be honest with you, I do like pina colada, but um, this one from Food Lion is probably my favorite. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. T's makes a good one. I believe Master of Mixes makes one. There's different pina colada mixes out there, but locally, you guys, if you're, if you're getting one or if you have a Food Lion next to you, this one isn't a heavy, it doesn't have a heavy, um, coconut flavor and it doesn't have a heavy pina, uh, pineapple flavor. This one to me kind of tastes like it's almost like melted ice cream. So I think it tastes really good with that. And I like to mix this um, with the in the tasting glass. So I've got the tasting glass done with your ounce of rum. I've got a few ice cubes in here. And I'm gonna go about halfway with the pina colada mix. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add, this is where I'm gonna add the puree. This is where you can really kind of give that pina colada a new dimension. So you can do, like some of the ones that I really like to do are a strawberry, a strawberry pina colada would be super good. You could add a mango, um, you could add peach. I forgot my peach one, give me one second. Got the peach, I'm gonna do peach just because I really like it. Mason, do you like peaches or strawberries better for you? You like strawberry better, don't you? Neither. Neither, okay, so he's not gonna go for either, so I'm gonna do it for me, it's gonna be peach. So. Um, the peach, strawberry peach always. Oh, Al <laughs> Allison's right. She likes to mix them. So I'm going to do it for like Allison's way. You guys, these are super inexpensive at Food Lion. They have the peach, the strawberry, and a uh, mango is the other one. And you can mix these up. That's the fun part about this, like with lemonades and that. You just put a little bit of this in it. 
a little bit of the peach. And I'm going to go ahead and do Allison's way because she just got engaged. Congratulations, Allison. We love you so much. We're so excited for you. Um, and I'm going to do that. So you're going to see I've got my rum, my pina colada mix. I've got a little bit of peach and a little bit of strawberry on the top of this. And then I love these little tasting jars as like my little mixers and that this actually blends those purees super, super well with that. And you'll see I'm going to do this quite a bit today. So you can see I've done that. And then all I'm going to do is you can add your favorite juice on top of this. And I'm going to add a little bit of this because I used that one. I'm going to use this white cranberry strawberry with the pina colada. It's going to take a little bit of that sweetness out because of the... Uh, cranberry, but that strawberry is going to keep it um, in keeping with the strawberry that I added to it. So you can use less sweet on this. You could add your lemonade to this one if you wanted to do this. Uh, I think um, pineapple juice would be really good, a peach juice, any of those simply juices if you wanted to go half and half. But I'm going to do this with this ripe cranberry peach just because I want to cut a little bit of that pina colada mix and kind of... Uh, Keep this nice and simple. And then I would definitely probably put a lemon in this one just because it's so sweet. I think a little squeeze of this lemon is gonna go a long way with the pina colada. Let me give this a shot. This one's really good. Allison, this reminds me of you. I'm so glad you were on this and made me think about adding both of them because the peach and the strawberry together is just really good. It's like you're on a tropical island. This is so yummy. So in this one, I have an ounce of the rum. I have about halfway up on the pina colada mix. I put a little bit of the puree of the peach and the strawberry in it. And then I just topped it with that white cranberry uh, strawberry mix. But you can put any juice in it. That's the thing. Kelly, I'll make sure I make sure I send you the link to this shirt. Um, so anyway, that's the pina colada. And I started with something pretty sweet. The next one I want to do, this one made me think of like um, a hot toddy, you know, but we're getting ready. The weather's starting to progress into like 50s and 60s, so not necessarily doing super hot drinks anymore. But this is one that I really like to do, and I wanted to show you guys. Um, I left my honey over here. So I took this, I took, this is a pound of honey. So about 16 ounces, I guess, in this. And I took the honey and what I did is I took the honey and I put it into one of my mason jars and then I added 50% boiling water to it. And the reason I do that is because it breaks down that honey and it actually makes the honey soluble. So when I mix it with any of my uh, cocktails in that, it actually will blend super well with the cocktails. So I really like those thick um, purees, jams, anything that you want to do with that, and then adding that 50% boiling water. And then you guys, I made this uh, fresh. So this is, this actually, one of these little jars, this one pound, 16 ounce with 50% fit right into my little barbecue um, sprayer. So I really like this. This makes it super easy to add a little bit of flavor in that to your cocktail. So I'm going to take this one. I'm going to put some ice in this, a couple of ice cubes. And, um, and then what I want to do with this one is I'm going to use a bourbon. And I really want to use the bourbon with this because I'm going to add the sweetness. I want that, I want the robust flavor of like a 90 to 100 proof because when I'm adding all these different flavors to it, you definitely want to taste a little bit of that whiskey. And what I'm going to do is with our original bourbon. Our original bourbon we did with our corn whiskey. Uh, it was done at 90 proof. We took the corn whiskey. We decided to age it. We did that. It's really young. It's eight or nine, nine months old, but it has a nice little flavor to it. If you decided you wanted it to be more oak flavored, then we do sell the little oak infusion spirals. And that makes, that makes it um, get about another six months in the bottle. So we do sell these here. These are really great if you have kind of not so great uh, bottle of whiskey or bourbon and you want to get it a little aged a little bit more, I think that these work fantastic to kind of take that edge off of it. If it's a little sharp, put that in there and it's just going to mellow out whatever you have. We like to put it in um, this young bourbon that we have and then put one of those in and it actually in seven to 10 days will age equivalent to six months in a barrel. So what's that? Mason says three weeks. He's correcting me. I said 10 to 14 days. He says three, three weeks. So he likes to go a little bit, be a little more careful on it. So I'm going to put one ounce of this um, bourbon in here. 
This is just a regular bourbon. It is not our straight bourbon. Our straight bourbon is made from a bourbon mash, and we'll talk about that one in a little bit. But I'm gonna put one ounce of that bourbon in here, and then what I'm gonna do is you guys can see when I pour this honey, it's gonna make it so much easier. This is gonna be almost a little bit, you see that that's a little bit more liquid in there, and I'm putting just a good splash in that. This actually makes it super easy to use to add a little bit of sweetness to your old fashions. If you guys like an old fashioned with a little nice sweetness of the honey in it, this would be super good with your bourbon or your um, 1842, your whiskeys to do an old fashioned and you've got this mixed up honey, great to add to your tea. Um, and then that honey doesn't like just sit at the bottom of your tea. It actually will mix super well with your hot tea, cold tea, any of that. I really like using this honey syrup with this. So I've done the bourbon, I put a little bit of that honey syrup in there, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this with lemonade. So this is gonna be almost like a winter version of our summer uh, lemonade cocktail that we make. And I'm gonna put, go about, as you guys can see with this, I've got that honey on the bottom and the whiskey, and I'm gonna go about halfway up this with the lemonade. And then just because I wanna keep it kind of winterish in that, I'm gonna add ginger ale to it. I think that it's gonna have a nice little ginger taste to this add the honey, the bourbon, and then I'm gonna do a squeeze of lemon in that just because I wanna keep that really lemon flavor to this. And this is gonna be our version of a cold toddy. So I've got my bourbon, my honey simple syrup, uh, simply lemonade, and uh, ginger ale on top of this. Mace, is this one that would pique your interest? It's the it's a lemonade with bourbon and honey in it. Mm. This is good. You can take this exact recipe, and this is where you can interchange some of these other purees. If you wanted a little bit sweet instead of that, you could add um, some blackberry, or you could add blueberry, or you could add your peach or strawberry to that. But this is where you can interchange the purees and actually turn it into a new different cocktail with that. I just chose honey today because I wanted to do that. I used the honey with um, our straight, with the bourbon. What puree? Uh, the honey, I used a broken down honey in that. And then? And then honey, bourbon. lemonade and uh, ginger ale. It's good. You like it? Okay. Yeah, it's good. So if I was gonna change that up, I would probably add either like the blackberry, one of these, um, like a blackberry puree or I'd add a blueberry puree just to kind of give it a little bit more sweetness if I wanted to kind of um, jazz that up um, and do something like, um, you know, more of a summer feel to it. But I really liked keeping that kind of still as like a, as a winter kind of cocktail with that one. So, so far we did the pina colada with the rum and I did the cold toddy with our bourbon. You can interchange that with any of the whiskeys. I like the honey to it. Um, and then just topping it off with ginger ale. So the next one is probably one of the tasting room favorite mules. This is one that actually we really, really like. It is done, um, I'm gonna do this with our straight bourbon. I'm sorry, I keep using my hands in this, but it's just me drinking, so don't, just give me a little bit of a pause on this. I don't know where my scoop is, so that's just a, a thing for another day, but you know, that's me how it goes. So I'm gonna do this one with our straight bourbon. And the reason I'm doing this is because this is where you can use any flavored puree. This is where you can add any of your simple syrups or your puree, purees and um, give it a new little flavor with this. You guys, this is our straight bourbon. I'm gonna tell you, I think we're down to about 30, maybe 30 bottles of this left. This is going to be, thanks mom, this is gonna be it for till probably September on the straight bourbon. So if you guys are looking for that bottle, you might wanna get on and grab this because these suckers are going very fast. Uh, Mason sold about half of what we had left this past weekend. And um, we're hoping that this is gonna um, be back in, in September when we've done the straight bourbon. You guys, the straight bourbon, just so you guys know, it's called a straight bourbon because it has a minimum aging requirement of two years. So this beautiful whiskey that is from a bourbon mash, it is at a 60% corn, it is a 20% malted barley, and a 20% wheat. And we did that um, because it's a typical bourbon mash. We mashed that, we put it in the uh, new charred oak barrel, sat it on the shelf for two years, and then this is what we came up with. We sold about almost 600 bottles of that since November, so we're super, super proud of that. Um, 
and just thanks you guys so much for that support on that. So um, I won't be mixing this on Whiskey Wednesday too much longer just because of the fact we're, we're running out of it. We're going to have to use the 1842, which is equally as good, but just a little bit different from that. So I have my bourbon, straight bourbon in here. And then what I want to do with this one is I'm going to add the peach puree. This you could do any purees. You could do the peach the mango is super good with this. You could add maple syrup. You could add the honey simple syrup. You could do blackberry, blueberry, raspberry, black cherry. Really, the, the possibilities are absolutely endless with this. But I'm going to do peach because it's just one of the favorites in the taste room. So I'm going to add my couple swirls of this. It's about a teaspoon in this 8-ounce jar. Um, also could be used doing this to make a, a change on your old fashioned. So if I was using a rocks glass, I would have just done that. And um, I know I just used the peach again. Sorry, I probably should have gone mango, but the peach is the one that I really like with this. And this is going to be done with ginger beer. So you guys, if you know, this is my favorite, the Gosling's ginger beer. It's sold at Walmart. It's sold at the ABC stores. Um, in Northern Virginia, it is sold in Giants, so I highly recommend this one. But really, you can go crazy with your um, ginger beers, whatever is your preference with this. And if you want to do a less expensive way, definitely go for the Canada Dry, um, the Canada Dry uh, Bold. It's super good with this. You get not quite as much of that ginger bite to it. It's not quite such an intense ginger flavor, but um, it definitely does the trick. And I'm just going to mix this up. This has got my peach, the um, bur straight bourbon, and then the ginger beer. And you guys, this one is so good. I know this one's good. So, yeah, peach, really, really good with this. I like this because um, what I like about using these purees and that with this, especially with the 1842 or the straight bourbon or the corn whiskey or... Um, the 90 honey is that when you use these, you still get that really good flavor of the whiskey. Um, where some of those times, like when you we use the flavored whiskeys and you mix them, it's great for those that don't like that really strong bourbon whiskey taste. But it, I don't want to say it gets lost, but it's dangerous because it kind of creeps in there and you're not quite getting that whiskey flavor. So, you know, you're sipping that down and then the next thing you know, I mean, you know, you got your dancing shoes on. So highly recommend um, with these ginger beers and that, that bourbon, it does really, really well with the ginger beer, but then you add one of those purees to it and it's fabulous. Um, the other one that I would do, the other mule that we do, if you guys don't remember this one, is our mint strawberry. The mint whiskey Great whiskey to mix with. I would highly recommend mixing any of your purees with that. In fact, I'll do that one next just so you guys can see. I'll throw that one in there so you guys can try it. Um, see how we do with the mint with the purees because there's really, the possibilities are also endless with that mint whiskey. You get a nice taste of the um, whiskey, but then that mint goes on. But with this one, on this peach one, I digress. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place because I'm thinking about the possibilities of all of the purees. This one, you can do a lime, lime with this, which would be your typical mule uh, flavor to this. Um, so the, the lime would be kind of traditional for this, but I actually really, as you guys know, I like to garnish with the orange, so I'd probably stick a little orange in there too and just have a nice little medley of flavors in there. This one's really good. Um, God, this is good. Mango would have been really good too, Kat, for this one. You could have done the mango with this one. Yep, this is really yummy. Um, so, so far we have mixed our purees with the rum, with the, um, uh, the bourbon and with our straight bourbon. So the next one I'm going to do is with that mint. We were talking about that mint. I just want to show you guys how easy this mint is to play with. Um, again, I'm going to do this in one of our tasting jars. This is an eight ounce. It would be really, really good in our rocks glass. Also, in fact, maybe once I mix this up, I'll put it in the rocks glass just to make it pretty. So with this one, I'm going to do the mint whiskey. If you guys have watched Whiskey Wednesday before, you guys know this mint is like kind of this surprise attack for everybody. It's one that I can't tell you, um, gosh, if I had a dollar for every time somebody said, well, that's surprising. I can't believe that that's mint. Um, you know, we'd be making a heck of a lot more, <laughs> more whiskey and that in there. But this one, um, I really like to mix with all different kinds of things. I think that the mint pairs really, really well with iced teas, lemonades, your hot teas, 
hot chocolates, coffees, all those kind of obvious ones that you would do like a mint with. I make a thin mint shot, all those kind of fun things. But where this mint like really just kind of makes itself known is when you mix it with a puree or with the juice. And then you can do it even on top of that. You could do it with the, um, in fact, I might do it with a Collins mix just to kind of play with this. I think this one might be good. I'm gonna do this as a good, better, best so you guys can see how I would mix this. The mint alone, really good whiskey with just, I'm gonna put an ounce in there. Cat would probably go up to about two ounces on this mint because the mint is that, that good. So I would do the mint whiskey with this one. You could totally stop with just a ginger beer. You could stop with your ginger ale. You could stop with your Sprite. And that would be a good cocktail, the mint with anything. I really like it with a lemon lime seltzer. I think that that is super good. I use that one. Um, it's from Food Lion. I think I, I don't know if I have one out here, but the, the Food Lion uh, lemon lime seltzer with a mint splash of this, really good. But where I'm going to make this better is where I'm going to add the um, Tom Collins mix. So I'm going to add this Tom Collins. I'm going to do this with this because I really like that tartness um, with this. And you guys, with the Tom Collins mixtures, you guys, I like doing about equal parts of the whiskey and the Tom Collins or one part whiskey, two parts um, Collins mix. This goes, a little of this goes a long way. It's really got a nice uh, tart lemon taste to it. It's got a real rich lemon taste to this one. And if I were to top this with Sprite or ginger ale, it'd be a good cocktail. Really good, super easy, uh, mint, half Tom Collins mix or lemonade, and then just topping it with either ginger ale or Sprite. Just really your preference on that. But this is where we're gonna make it best because this adding a little bit of this flavor to it with the um, mint and then adding this blueberry to it, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go with the blueberry puree. You guys, we sell this here in the tasting room. Super good to add to uh, your lemonades, any of that, even the non-drinkers. This is a great addition to just your sodas, lemonades, um, the strawberry, and that's really good to add to milk with your kids if you want to get them to drink more milk. This is a really good flavor. The blueberry, the blackberry, the strawberry would be really good. The peach would be really good with this. But in the cocktail, I'm going to put a couple of swirls of this blueberry in. And then what I'm going to do is add my lid to the top of this. And this is where I'm going to kind of shake it up because um, I want to get that... I want to get that blueberry mixed in. So that blueberry with the Tom Collins mix. Oh, Papa does use it in smoothies. My dad doesn't drink. He uses that blueberry puree with orange juice, puts it in the blender with some ice, and he mixes that up, and that's how he makes his um, orange juice smoothies in the morning. So thanks for calling that out, Kat. This is the blueberry one um, with the mint. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a nice rocks glass. I'm going to add a little bit more ice to this. And then I'm gonna pour this just on the top of this. So this is in my rocks glass. You guys, look at how pretty that is. I mean, this is just such a great cocktail. And then with this one, what you can do is you can just top it with a splash of Sprite club soda, or I'm gonna put just a bit of ginger ale in this one. And it's just gonna to top that off. And then because of the mint and the um, blueberry, I'm gonna put a lemon in this one. I know I'm going crazy with not using my orange, but guess what, we're gonna put a lemon in there. And you guys, look at that. So simple, literally. I'm gonna stick with the blueberry this weekend, you guys. I could do this with blackberry, but I think this blueberry is super good. It actually kind of tempers down the tartness of the Tom Collins mix. Um, but the, the flavor of the mint and that blueberry, it's just, I mean, it, they just pair so well together. You could do this with just the ginger beer. You could do a blueberry mint ginger, um, like a mule. That would be super good with this. Um, the blackberry would be really good in that. Any of the mules with that would be super good. Or you could just do Sprite or ginger ale with this. This is definitely a best cocktail slam dunk. If you really wanted to kind of, you know, continue your garnish, for those of you that like to over garnish kind of like me, I would do a few um, fresh blueberries on the top of that and just, I mean, you would wow any of your guests that you have for dinner. And it is that simple. It's the mint, a little bit of blueberry or blackberry puree. Um, you could do it with strawberry if you wanted to. And then that Tom Collins makes um, a nice balance so it's not super sweet with the purees. And that's what I would definitely recommend. Um, if you want the flavor of a puree and you want that little bit of sweetness, if you're gonna do like a margarita, a margarita would be super good with these purees. In fact, 
we got time to do a margarita, so we'll do that. Um, a whiskey sour, you guys, with the purees, this is really good. I would do any of the whiskeys. I like the 1842 with that. Um, this whiskey sour, a little bit of puree with that would give it a nice balance so it's not super sour and not sweet. And then topping that off with Sprite would be another one that I would do. But I think this one, you guys, this one might be my fave today so far. So the last one that I'll do for you guys is I'm going to go ahead and do this with our 1842 whiskey. Again, I like the boldness of those strong whiskeys. I like that really... Um, oak kind of flavor with this to balance with these purees I think just does super well um, especially for those that don't or want to kind of venture into doing like more traditional cocktails like your old fashions or your Manhattans um, this is a way that you can get yourself acclimated to the heavy whiskey bourbon taste is put a little of that puree in and it's going to balance it super well um, but this 1842 same recipe as our straight bourbon. We just aged this in a used bourbon and then wine barrel. We pair partner with Hunting Creek. We've gotten some wonderful wine barrels from them and that gives it a nice uh, kind of fruit texture that the straight bourbon doesn't have. Um, a little bit sweeter. This one actually, as you mix this one, it gets uh, a, a tempered down a little bit more. You don't have quite so much of that oak taste. The fruit notes really come out when you start mixing that. So with this one, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do one of my, because I'm going to do the purees. I really like adding a few, little bit of ice to these just to help me mix it a little bit. If you guys don't have cocktail shakers, this makes it super easy to do. Um, and I'm gonna stick with one ounce of the 1842 with this. This one I'm gonna do as a margarita. I think it's gonna be so good. So you're gonna have that tartness. If any of you guys have gone out and gotten one of those margaritas and it's just that, it's like the, the tartness. I don't, I, you guys know I don't like using just margarita mix. I like to top it off with either a um, club soda or a Sprite or you know a juice or something to mix with it. You can mix your juice with it if you wanna keep it kind of sweet. Um, but this is going to cut that tartness of this. So I'm going to add the margarita mix, about equal parts of the whiskey and the ice with that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go really kind of crazy with this on the margarita. And I'm going to do a, let me see, what, what kind of flavor do I want to do? Um, I could do maple syrup would be really good with this. It's going to really sweeten this up and take that tartness away. Um, I'm going to do strawberry. I'm going to do it so it's going to be like a strawberry margarita because we used it in the first one, but this is definitely one that I think I would do. I'm going to do some strawberry in this with the 1842. I've got my margarita mix in here. Some fresh strawberries would be awesome in this, um, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to top this off. I'm going to get that puree nice and mixed with our with the margarita mix, and then all I'm going to do with this one is type, top it with some Sprite. I think I have a Sprite coming around here somewhere. Um, here we go. We'll do this one. And I'm going to top this with Sprite. Club soda would also be super good with this. Or any of the flavored bubblies or ahas in that, that would also be super good to mix with this. So I've got my strawberry, my margarita mix. Let me see. Let me redo. Started this with a, um, with the 1842 whiskey. I put some strawberry puree in here. I added my margarita mix. And then you guys can get that at any, any grocery store. Literally, every grocery store sells margarita mix. And then I top this off with Sprite. This one I would definitely do um, probably a lime with this just to kind of balance that red. I think the, the lime would be really pretty in here. It's pretty good. definitely has that whiskey taste to it. So where you guys are used to the tequilas and you um, are used to kind of that strength of the tequila in that, this actually kind of tempers down. And I think that little bit of age in there is really good. The other one I would definitely do with this, the strawberry is good. I think the blackberry would be really good. I think a blackberry margarita would be really yummy with this. But I think the maple, I'm going to just do the maple because I think the maple um, might be more my preference on this. And that's just because I think it's still a little um, a little margarita-ish for me, um, which makes it a little tart. So I'm going to do this one more time just because I don't always love what I do. You guys know that I like a lot of the cocktails, but I don't always love them. That is not one that I love, but I'm going to play with this just a little bit. So I'm going to do the 1842 whiskey with this one. 
Um, if you guys wanted to do something a little less, um, this would have been really good with the blackberry. I could do the blackberry whiskey and then add maybe even a little bit more blackberry puree to it um, or with a margarita mix, but I wanna keep with the purees, but I'm gonna do this one with the maple. So this is my maple syrup. You guys, I take it out of the maple syrup jug, put it in one of these barbecue squeeze bottles. I just think that this makes it super easy to do. And I'm going to add this um, maple syrup. You guys see it just goes in there super easy. I keep this in the fridge just like these in the door of your fridge. I keep this, I have the honeys, and then I've got my puree so I can just, you know, kind of add a little something extra to my cocktails with that. So this one is the 1842 and the maple, and then I'm gonna put little less margarita in here. I don't think you need a whole heck of a lot of the margarita mix in this one. And just because I want it to blend really well, I'm going to um, shake this up in, in one of these. You guys, the mason, the big mason jars, you guys, I know a lot of you guys have a lot of those on your thing. The mason jar with the little lid on here, if you wanted to make a bigger one, that's the perfect size to do it in the big one. And then, um, and then all you got to do is add more ice to it and you've got a really nice cocktail to go for yourselves. Um, so I've got that and then I'm going to add the Sprite to this one again. I'm thinking I'm really going to like this. Um, you could do this just with the maple whiskey, but I think I like the fact that you've got that boldness of the whiskeys and then you're adding the maple syrup for sweetness. And I just think it makes it kind of over the top with this one. And with this one, just because you guys know how much I like it, guess what's going on in this one? A little bit of orange right in there. Okay, prefer this one. Strawberry, good, I like it. Um, I think you still get quite a bit of the tartness. So for me, I like the fact that this is a little bit more tempered. This one you could do just with the maple whiskey or you could do it with um, the honey whiskey or the peach whiskey. Any of those would go with the margaritas, but I kind of like adding that pure, the puree or the maple syrup to that one just to get a little bit of sweetness. Very good. Do we have time for one more? If you guys wanna do one more? I got one more coming. This one might be good. This might be a little bit of a kind of new old fashioned. So Kat and I went to this great restaurant in, um, in um, where were we Kat last night? Arlington, Arlington, yes. So Ted Turner's restaurant that's downtown there. Um, this was so good. They called it a newly fashioned. So not an old fashioned, but a newly fashioned. And what they did is they took, and I'm going to do this a little bit mixed in one of these, and then I'm going to put it into my rocks glass just because I like how the rocks glass looks. What they did is they took their bourbon. So I'm going to do this one with the straight bourbon just because I'm, I think this is going to have a really nice flavor to it. And I like, and I really like the old fashioned with that boldness of the whiskey. And this is gonna be done with, you know what, what the heck, we're gonna go a little bit stronger on this one. I would do an old fashioned in here with an ounce and a half. So I'm gonna do this one with an ounce and a half. So in this little jar, this is just gonna be super easy to do. I've got that full shot of bourbon. I've got my um, ice in here. I've got my full shot of the Ted's Montana Grill. It was fabulous, great people. If you guys are in, um, Arlington, go to that really great food and everything, great weight staff and everything. We really, really enjoyed it. I did this. Um, I, you could do this. This would be so good with this. Uh, if you guys like a little bit of heat, this is that uh, habanero infused maple syrup that we sell here in the tasting room. This one would be really, really good. But what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to make this a blackberry. It's because they had a, a cherry in the one last night. I'm going to change this up a little bit. They used agave. So I'm going to, instead of doing that, I think I'm going to go back to my honey simple syrup to be my sweetness for my old fashioned. I've got my bourbon. I'm going to put a couple, just a good squeeze of my honey simple syrup that I made. You guys know with one part um, or two parts honey, one part boiling water. So, uh, one to a half of that. I'm going to add that to the sweetness. Then I'm going to add this a little bit of this blackberry puree to this. Just a little good squeeze of that. So I've got my bourbon, my honey simple syrup, and my blackberry puree. I'm going to mix that up, and this is going to be my blackberry old fashioned. You guys, I'm excited about this one. So I'm going to take, I'm going to get a really good full glass of ice in this. And our little rocks glasses that we sell here, this makes a perfect little old-fashioned glass to this. I'm going to get this nice and filled. And then I'm going to do my um, shot of that over the top of this. You can top this off with a little bit of club soda if you wanted to. Or you could do um, 
uh, a splash of ginger ale, uh, any of your carbonations in that if you wanted to. But this one I'm gonna do with the squeeze of orange because that's what goes into an old fashioned. I've got my honey, my blackberry, the orange, and then I'm gonna put a little cherry on the top of this. This one, if I can get it open. Oh God, you guys, this one's gonna look really good. I got a little maraschino cherry in there. Just a little splash of the grenadine in there. And this is gonna be my black, my blackberry old fashioned. What do you guys think? Look at that one. Look at how pretty that is. It's got the ice in it. It's got this straight bourbon, some honey simple syrup. It has my blackberry puree in here. Got a squeeze of orange, a lot going on in here, but I think it's gonna be real, really well worth it. Oh. Grown up drink right here, but it's got that nice little sweetness. Um, this is a really good one. I would highly recommend this. If you wanted it a little bit sweeter, if you didn't want to have so much of that bourbon taste, which kind of defeats the purpose of an old fashioned, but if you did, I would just put a little bit more blackberry in there, kind of top it up. This would be, top it off, this would be great with some fresh blackberries as you guys would get into spring in that and you start getting those fruits in there. The fun part about doing that, and you'll see us doing it this summer, is adding that fresh fruit, kind of muddling that up with a little bit of that honey simple syrup that I made. But these purees, as you guys can see, you can you can interchange these with about any cocktail. You can do a lemonade with some of the purees, and like we sell in here, we've got the uh, black cherry, the blackberry, the blueberry, the strawberry, the mango, the peach. It just gives it a new dimension. So where you've got a great cocktail and you add a little bit of a splash of these purees, they're inexpensive. It's not. It's, it's a little goes a long way. You don't need a lot because they're pretty sweet, but it just makes your cocktail the best. So this one was definitely um, a little bit more in, you know, in depth with this, but I think the end result was really making the best cocktails. As you guys can tell, I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cocktails in 30 minutes. And those are from scratch all the way to the end. And you guys, I'm hoping you really liked them. So I'm going to do a real quick recap so you guys know what we had. We had the rum, which was done with the pina colada mix. I mixed strawberry and peach in here. And then I topped it off with the white cran strawberry juice that I get from Ocean Spray. Really good cocktail. Um, I'm going to tell you that, Kat. Um, the second one I did was the cold toddy. I think this one was really good. I really liked this one with the, um, we did this with the, I did this with the bourbon, our regular bourbon. I did this with the honey simple syrup. I put simply lemonade in here and then I topped this off with ginger ale. Super good. If you wanted to add a little bit more, you could substitute that honey and add one of the flavored purees and it would be absolutely fabulous. It would be like a grown up um, Arnold Palmer-ish kind of thing, but with no tea. I guess I'm not quite sure where we're going with that one. But this one was really good. Cold toddy, I like it a lot. Um, the next one I did was the mule. The mule I did with the, uh, goodness gracious, what did I do this with? Cat, help me out. Straight bourbon. I did this with the straight bourbon. I added the peach puree and I topped it off with ginger beer. Garnish however the heck you want. Don't garnish. We don't care. Um, you guys remember this was the, um, the other one you could do with this was the black and blue mule, which would be another one that we added those to. But this one is really good. Recommend the mule for that one. Next one I did was, um, goodness. This is the Tom Collins. I did this one with the Tom Collins. I'm losing my track. No, I haven't had too much to drink. I've just been sipping. This one was done with the mint whiskey. I did it with the Tom Collins mix, uh, some blueberry puree, and then a splash of, I think, ginger ale or something on top of this or Sprite. Any one of those would be great. This was really good. This might be vying for one of my favorites, Cap. It would definitely be yours. I think you would love this one. The next one I did was the strawberry margarita. Not my fave. Um, some of you guys might like this because it's a little bit sweeter. This one I did with the 1842. I did this with margarita mix. I put some strawberry puree in here. Definitely prefer that one with, uh, goodness gracious, the margarita here. No, that's the mule. I did this with the margarita with... Um, somewhere here. Anyway, I did this with the 1842, the maple and um, that, I think that was the orange one. Yep. I think this was it. This was the orange margarita. I did that with the maple, the margarita mix, 
the 1842 whiskey and Sprite on top of that. Really, really good one. I do recommend that one. Um, and then lastly, I did the old fashioned-ish kind of thing. This was done with the uh, straight bourbon. It was done with our blackberry puree. I did this with um, a good squeeze of orange, a little bit of cherry on top of this one. You could put a little bit of seltzer or anything on top of this, but if I had to pick, I'm going between the Tom Collins kind of ish thing or this, it's going to be this old fashioned. I got to tell you, I feel like after four years of doing this, I'm finally growing up and, and going for the old fashioned things. You guys, this one's really good. So hope you guys enjoyed. Hope I gave you guys some ideas with the purees. Um, if you're looking for some new ideas, come by and see us. I can help you out with trying to add a little bit of dimension to your cocktails. Good is obviously the whiskey and, um, and soda. Better is with a little bit of uh, mixers in there, your your lemonades or things like that. But best is when you add this puree. It just really kind of gives a new dimension to your cocktails. Um, I just think it adds really good dimension to it. Change it up. Try these things different. If you have any questions, reach out to us. I'd be happy to give you some ideas. But we hope you guys enjoyed this and um, hope you guys will come and see us this weekend because I'll be mixing all these up and out. So anyway, you guys take care. Thanks for watching. Share if you'd like. We'd like to be able to share. <laughs>